Welcome to Mercy's Designs. My name is Mercy and I demonstrate stamping up products. Today I would like to show you this beautiful card that I designed and used stamp sets from Peaceful Cabin and Whimsical Trees. So I have seen a lot using this Peaceful Cabin stamp set and they're kind of somber cards. They're really beautiful. So, but I wanted, to me, Christmas cards should look a little more cheerful. So I decided to add a little more color and I hope you enjoyed this. So if you like peaceful cabins but want a brighter choice, then keep watching. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna explain a little bit about these dies. They're a little different than a lot of dies. So what I mean by that is they cut out outlines opposed to um, you cut out around the whole item with the trees and the cabin. So I'll stamp and show you further on that. So what I have here is a little piece of cardstock and I'm intentionally making it longer than necessary so that I can trim it up. So it's three inches by the standard, I think five and a half, yes. And um, so what I suggest is with the cabin, when you stamp the cabin, I'm using soft suede ink. So quite realistic looking, <laughs> I think. And although I think a lot of colors would be pretty with this. So this one is one of those, um, shows a lot of detail. What is that term? Anyway, so what I'm doing is doing it towards the top left hand corner, leaving a little bit of space. And it doesn't have to be super exact because the, I'll end up trimming some and so forth. So the next thing I do is I bring in my die and this one, this is a different type of die and that's a standalone right here. So what I do is I bring in my die and then because I don't like to waste any paper, I would just cut away right here and then run it through my die cutting machine. And what I get back is this. So if you're curious the distance here to here versus here and here. I'll just quickly measure that. So what it comes out to is about um, one and three fourths, and this is about one and a quarter. But again, that's not super important to get that exact, but just in case you, you know, want a rough idea on how that is. So the next thing I want to show is about the trees. So um, I will bring in that paper and the stamp. So I have a paper here, and it's fairly similar in size to the other one. It's, um, if not the same, yes, it's three inches. So here is Evening Evergreen, and the paper that I am following off of the colors would be the Sweet Stockings DSP. So I have it written here, and I will have this information in the description below. So I, because this is the big stamp set, I like to bring the ink to it, and even evergreen, plus you can make sure that it's adequately inked, but don't expect it to be a solid ink. All right, so this similar idea here um, as the cabin one. So I just stamp here, and now all I do would be to get my die, that's the outline, the partial outline, and run this through my die cutting machine. So really the, those two steps are quite simple, but I just thought I would show it in depth because again, it's a little different than a lot of our dies and that way, that's kind of, I don't know, not scary, but <laughs> can sometimes be a little intimidating. So after I run it through, what you have is something like this. So I will definitely be using that piece. So I, I don't know about you, but I haven't really made a lot of Christmas cards this year yet, but now that I'm on a roll, I think I'll be making a bunch. All right, so we want to bring in our layers. So I have a pool party layer here, and I've gone ahead and stamped it because that would take a long time, and I don't think you need to see that. It's, this stamp is in the peaceful, I believe it's, yeah, Peaceful Cabin, yes it is part of that one. Just want to make sure. And I just stamped randomly all over here. 
and those are beautiful little snowflakes. So um, that is our base. So what I like to do here is bring in my pieces and I put them in the background. So I kind of know this is pretty good as far as like I, I'm liking this distance. And, but I do need to stamp this. So I have a cherry cobbler and I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting. Now, the greeting is from the Whimsical Trees and I thought, again, very nice, cheerful, nice Christmas greeting here. Now, um, because this is important to get it straight, I'm, might, you might see something I shouldn't like my head. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. The main thing is I didn't want to get it crooked. The first card I did, I did a little crooked. And that's always a little disappointing to me. And I don't want to have to redo this. Okay, so the next part is, I don't try to guesstimate this yet. All I'm gonna do is attach this, but I'm not gonna glue this part. In the end, I will add a few glue dots to secure it. But for now, I'm not gonna worry. So basically, I'm just doing the snow area and just gluing a little bit there. So I can still tuck things behind it. All right, so I'm just gonna have this flush. Technically, you wouldn't have to have the full strip, but it's much easier to line things up if the pool party layer is already, you know, fully there. So I'll turn it over and make sure that I got it right. Now, there's a very slight sliver here I could take off, which I will, I guess. <laughs> but it's not a big difference and that will make it nice and straight. So again, the next part is putting this behind. So I'm gonna be tucking this behind here. Um, if I don't like the spacing or something, I can shift it a little bit and then um, trim the edges. Again, I made it too big intentionally. That way I can have a little bit of leeway. And it's very easy if you have a mat to adjust. So again, I'm gonna lift up the tree. I hope these tips help you and make you feel a little less intimidated by this set because I think it's just um, a really nice, beautiful set. But again, I'm afraid some people are gonna be a little put off because again, the dyes are a little different than what maybe they're used to. Okay, so there that will be on the next layer, so I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, so trim this. And if I'm not completely satisfied with that, I could use the guillotine trimmer. Uh, I wanted to get it a little better, but it's not going. So anyhow, it, it's good enough though. The next layer, I'm gonna go ahead and add my next layer behind here, just because it's convenient. And then we'll be um, doing a little bit more, adding more trees. So I like the whimsical tree ones, but I didn't go all out, like they have a lot of doodads that you can add a die over it because I want it to kind of blend in with the, the Peaceful Cabins more card. That's the primary set. So this tree, these trees are part of the whimsical, but again, I'm not going to go too crazy and add the dye that goes over that. So what I mean by that is they have some gorgeous dyes here with the whimsical, like right here. This one, I think layers over here and that's super cute, but Again, I'm going for more the look of the peaceful cabin. So I will go ahead and add a few dimensionals to this one. Now I wanted to add a little bit of glue, liquid glue at the bottom here. Because I actually am thinking I want it to try to look like it's... Yeah, I think that'll look cool. 
the stump is on the ground, on the earth. All right, so one more thing to add some dimensionals, and that is the little fence. Now one card, I actually got this upside down, so it's, it really is, um, this is the way I had it, but that is actually upside down. So do pay attention. It, it's not as obvious as one might think, at least it wasn't to me, but maybe I just wasn't paying close enough attention. So just three of these mini dimensionals is good enough. And I'm going to do like, see where I want it. Oh, I've got a little dimensional there. And I think that looks pretty good. And we need to add a little fox. So I will grab one of my red foxes. I stamped this in cherry cobbler, in case you wondered. And I feel like this could have been a little placed a little, a little more imaginative. If it had been, yeah. yeah. Better not do too much though, because I kind of ripped the paper a little. All right, so here is our tree. And then I'm gonna quickly add our little fox and finish with the inside stamping. So for the inside stamping, we will bring in our piece of cardstock right here. We're gonna set that aside temporarily. And I'm gonna bring in Bumblebee. So the stamp that I have for this is very cool. Now what I like to do here is I like to add a strip of DSP at the bottom and I'm going to stamp it before attaching the DSP just to make sure that I didn't get it too crooked because as we know there are two sides. So now there is the um, these beautiful little ornaments. So I love these. I think they're beautiful and I need to find my ink pad. Oh it's right in front of me as usual. So I just ink it up, and I want these coming down from the top right side, and I just stamp it so it's going off of it. I just think that looks kind of cool hanging down. Um, so I don't want to take the time to color this, so I will show you how I, what blends I use to color. So these are the blends, the Cherry Cobbler, Daffodil Delight Dark, and actually, I don't think I use Old Olive. Um, pool Party. So the finished product is right here. So through the magic of TV, there we have it. So I'm going to bring in the base now. And this is with um, the um, Bumblebee, which is one of the colors for the Sweet Stockings DSP. Backings on the okay, so I really like even if it's a darker color, I just love adding a layer inside. I just think it really adds, even if it's fairly light, the background, the base. I still like adding a white layer, looks really cool. All right, so now I just need to add this layer, my mat of cherry cobbler. And I think it looks so cool, this color. I did try different combinations like Daffodil Delight and the Cherry Cobbler, but this really, really pops, I feel like. So this is my final finished card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you have any stamping needs, email me at mewants3 at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you place an order with the host code. Thanks for watching and happy stamping.